All right, guys, this is going to be an SE plugin for you. This is called uh, the CPU modulator. Um, basically, what this SE plugin does is uh, modulate the CPU for um, your PSP, whether you be playing an emulator with three dimensional format or sound or 2D. Um, it'll, mo it'll modulate it either to be higher or lower to what you are doing on your PSP. So, for an example, if you're just listening to music, it might put your CPU down to 66. If you are playing a uh, CSO file on custom firmware 5.50 Gen D3, the fixed version, and you're playing a CSO or ISO that is meant for 6.10 firmware, you'll, your CPU will probably be at 333 slash 166. So uh, that's basically what the CPU modulator does. So without further ado, let's get to installing it. Alrighty, so here we are at the PSP. And simply, I'm just going to go and check my firmware for you guys to show that I'm running on custom firmware because I do that in all my videos, so I'm not playing anybody. So you can see that I'm running on 5.50 Gen D3, and you can see that's me, Death Rain 333. So simply, all we're going to do is connect a USB cable to the PSP that links to the computer, initialize the USB connection, and then come to the PC. Alright, so at the computer, the file I'm going to have you download is this right here. It's called 24019cpumodulator.zip. What you are going to do is you're simply going to double click on that and open it up. You might need an extraction program. If you don't have one, right click on the file and say extract. Oh, excuse me. Say extract all to desktop um, just to make life easy. So you're just going to simply open that up. And uh, sorry if my computer is slow, but I'm getting a new one soon. So. I could care less what this thing does. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what we gotta do. So I'm just gonna pause this because this thing slows all balls. All right, so now my extraction program finally came up after like two minutes. So when you open up or you extract the files, you will see the CPU modulator.prx and you'll see a game text and a VSH text. So what you're gonna do is simply go to my computer and once that opens up, if it doesn't take forever, which I'm really hoping it doesn't because I want to get this done. Ugh. My grandfather's faster than you. It's shooting turkeys. Pause time. Alright, figures it comes up right after I pause it. So anyways, you're going to open the removable drive for the PSP that you have connected to your computer. <laughs> like so. Now, scroll down um, until you see your folder SE plugins. If you haven't made, if you don't have a folder, right click and select new folder and call it SE plugins all in lowercase letters. Then open up that folder. And you're going to make that on the root of the memory stick. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your extraction program or your extracted files and simply drag and drop the CPU modulator.prx into the SE plugins folder on the PSP's memory stick. <clears throat> so you're gonna let that copy over like so. And now what you're gonna do is if you don't have a game and VSH text in the SE plugins folder, just take the ones that I've given you and drag and drop them over like you did with the CPU modulator.prx. If you do, let's open up the game text document first. You're going to click on the um, last one that you have and hit enter and make a new line. Now go to the extraction program and open up the game text that you have um, set, that I have set for you in there. You're going to click on your mouse and highlight everything in there and you will see that this clearly just says ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash cpu modulator dot prx space one. What you're going to do is just hit right click and copy and then you're going to exit that and go to the game text on your PSP's memory stick and you're going to right click and hit paste and you will see that that pops up right there like so ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash cpu modulator dot prx space one you're going to exit that game text and hit yes to save it now go to the PSP's memory stick on the SE plugins folder again and open up the VSH text document. And you're going to do the same thing. Hit enter to make a new line, right click and paste because both of these files are going to say the same exact thing. So there you go with that. MS0 colon forward slash yada yada yada. Same shit. Exit. Hit yes. Now you don't have to do this. 
but you could if you want. If you have pops um, and you want to modulate your CPU for your PSX emulation, just paste the same thing inside the pops.txt in the SE plugins folder. Um, but you don't have to. And again, this is depending on how much you play PS1 titles on your PSP. So I'm just going to do that because I like playing Spyro. Anyways, so uh, yeah, other than that, um, that's about it. So we can exit the PSP's memory stick. We can exit your extracted files and come back to the PSP. All right, so back at the PSP, we're going to exit USB mode like so. I'm going to unplug this cable because I don't need it. And what we're going to do is simply take the power button and hold it in the up position and wait until the whole system turns off and the green power light stops flashing. Now hold down the right trigger and turn the power back on to access your recovery menu. Now in the recovery menu, scroll down to plugins and what you're simply going to look for is the CPU modulator. So CPU modulator.prx for VSH, enable that. CPU modulator for game enable that and if you have it for pops enable that as well and then simply go back and then exit and you will see that your system will reboot CPU 222 now you'll see this thing coming across your screen it'll scroll across your screen that is your CPU speed and it's just simply for an example, I'll play some music, and the CPU should change, but for music it usually won't, but for anything else, like if you're emulating something, it'll do that. But yeah, so right now my CPU is 222, now if I went and into my memory stick and I went to one of my emulators it would probably decrease it depends on what emulator I'm using um, Super Nintendo it'll decrease probably um, but uh, if I was like playing a PSP CSO it would probably go up to 333 so yeah that's the CPU modulator and that's how you install it so yeah again that's your CPU modulator uh, for your PlayStation Portable um, technically I'm not really going to use this, but for those of you who wish to use this, here you go. There's a tutorial, and I will have the link for download for you guys on the side of, the, or well, actually underneath this video now, and uh, more information because YouTube decided to get cool and make everything bubbly and awesome looking. So, um, yeah, but other than that, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoy the CPU modulator, and I will get back to you guys soon on some more videos. So stay in touch, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date. Um, if you have any recommendations for any other videos, leave a comment on my channel page. I would be happy to make that video for you um, or reply on it and ask exactly what you want me to do. If you got any questions, send me a comment, leave me a message. I'll be happy to reply. Thanks again, guys. Death Rain 333 out.